Hey guys, Silence Yell here, here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. It's been a while since the last episode, and you will probably tell, um, I'm one event short. <laughs> it's okay, because so far, we've only been going through reissuing events, so all the Pokemons that have appeared before are coming back. So everyone has been taking a very chill pill. Um, with the game recently, even myself. So even though I do play the daily um, party invites, you know, but I have not been clearing any of the regular stages mainly for video content, but I still do play on my Nintendo Switch account. Hopefully you guys are doing the same as well. So we are finally back on the game on our on the YouTube channel. Um, and you know now the Galarian Slowpoke is back! So yeah, for those of you who are brand new to the game and are casually playing just like um, me and some of you guys, you know, um, it's time to befriend our, well, strangely colored friend. <laughs> so yes, for those of you who are new to the game, it is your chance to attain the Galarian Slowpoke. Um, the last event that I missed out was basically Hatrum. Um, for those of you who do know the latest generation's psychic Pokemon um, that has a well, two evolution lineup. That's basically your Gen 8? I think it's 8? Or well, Sword and Shield Gen 8? I don't know. I can't remember the numbers, Ooh. but still, it's just too many Pokemon games. Anyways, yes, the Galarian Slowpoke is back. Um, of course, we're gonna take it slow. No, pun totally intended. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna play this event slowly um, when, of course, a new event occurs, which is gonna be very soon because um, the company has taken kind of a break to reevaluate the uh, marketing strategy for Pokemon Cafe Mix because Pokemon is a huge franchise and they definitely want to try and earn big bucks you know like any other mobile gaming company out there so yes um, let's do our best to feed the slowpoke and make him happy alright Okay, so let's take a look at the team, see who's playing. It seems like Kotone is still kind of active, but as you can tell with the numbers just like that, uh, it's pretty slow. And, you know, I won't be surprised if a lot of people left the game during this time period because of all the reissuing events, uh, or the, rather the reoccurring events. I wouldn't call it reissue. <laughs> There's no episode plates or cards, you know, like any other mobile games out there that has a gacha system. So yeah, so let's start things off as usual with the party invites since both Pokemons are fully maxed out. Let's refresh and there we go. So Wabafet needs some stars. So let's go with this invite team setup. Okay, it's really been a while since the last video. Oh, I still remember how to play this. <laughs> okay, so let's go with Lucario. Covering as much of the sugar. So, recently, um, they've included a new mechanic for the game. Okay, let's just destroy the sugar cubes here first. Gain more surface area. Or icons so yeah so for those of you who have been really keeping up with the game you will probably encounter the new mechanic but well it's not exactly new it's the same as the milk and the flask which we are currently facing right now so so yeah you just have to combine the two items together but it's just that it's in the shape of a Walnut and it's cracker right now. So yeah, I'm 
If you're wondering why I'm speaking so slowly, it's because I'm trying to focus on what I need to do. Okay, so let's mix them up. Let's get the leaves in. Okay, there seems to be three left. Oh no, we are only we only have one move available. That's not good. Can I push them in? Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> it seems I've lost my touch. Okay, so it's not exactly horribly hard, but you know, you gotta pay attention to the leaves. Okay, we will retry the level just for the sake of saving acorns. Okay. Let's go to Bubba Sauce. Maybe we should just destroy the sugar cubes here so we can technically. Oh no, I missed one sugar cube. Get the leaves in quicker. Okay. go. So there's one, no, two leaves remaining. There go. One more went in. Okay. Can we push this in? Yeah, there we go. So all the leaves are in. Now the only problem is the mixture. Oh god. Oh god, so nervous. Oh! Whew. Luckily, I didn't mess up the three lane mixture. There we go. So, yeah. So, this is probably the best outcome you can get from this level design. Get extra five acorns that you can earn. Okay. Oof. Didn't take too long. Alright, Ordino is up next for second order. Hmm, a lot of Togepi's on the board, so let's make use of Togepi. Okay, that was a bit of a glitch. We managed to connect to the icons below the cheese. Alright, so let's use Ordino's unpowered skill. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. We, we got a bit of luck there, having the megaphones face downward. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and use the icons um, to destroy the popcorns first. We did miss out on one though. That's fine. Okay, so now let's combine and pray for good luck. Not too shabby. Okay, so let's try and stack things. There we go. Probably a decent outcome. I mean, after all, if you could get better luck with Ordino skill. I think you could probably get two or three moves remaining. Depends on your luck, I guess. Alright, so we cleared the party invite and here we go. The 10 regular levels. We are really lagging behind considering that now they are still releasing stages with um, 30 new stages every new update. So. And we didn't make a video in the last event. So we are technically quite behind again. <laughs> Alright. Let's clear out the caramels. Fantastic. That's a lot of squirtle. So let's just make use of the blue frame. Okay, so we should probably get the skill powered up so we can get rid of as many of the 
olives as possible and not face a coating situ situation. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Okay, we definitely want to try and uncoat as many things as possible. Okay. Okay, let's get that second skill. Alright, so let's power up the skill. And hopefully... Oh, do you guys hear the bird? Dang. It's loud. So if you're wondering why there's birds chirping away outside my room, it's because it's raining. And they're taking shelter on the, um, the porch way, I guess. Oh no. This does not look good. Okay, I mean, technically... Can I get rid of this? Yeah, so that's fine. So as long as we have that megaphone that points upwards, we are fine. Whew, I was... Very afraid that I could not destroy the sugar cube at the lower bottom right. And yes, the bird is happy for my success. <laughs> it's a very strange video. A lot of weird noises around my neighborhood. So it's very tough to be a regular professional YouTuber. <laughs> but it's okay. It's it's you know situations like this where you know that. I'm no different from you guys. I love making content on YouTube. I love gaming. And yeah, I mean, I don't think fame will affect me. Okay, here we go. It's a pretty simple level with a lot of easy destructions on the honey. Right, so we do have two icons. Now the only problem is, can we get lucky with the placements of the megaphones? Alright, we did destroy one pumpkin, but the other two did not get touched at all, so... That's just horrible. Okay, it's a lot of meows, so let's gather the meows. And of course, destroy all the honey. Now, the only problem here is going to be the pumpkins. So, let's hope for a good placement. Okay, we did get a good placement. <laughs> With one megaphone remaining to do the last hit. Nice! So, got kind of lucky right there. Could have been luckier. But, I'm happy with how we ended. Look at that. I'm happy, they're happy. They, their smile brings joy to... Well, to be honest, I guess anyone who works in a restaurant have always been adoring their customers. You know, having a wonderful time within their workplace, be it a cafe, a restaurant, you know, it's just, it's just a good feeling to see people smile after eating the food you serve, the food you make, you know, and of course, appreciating your hard work to bring them joy. I mean, that's my reasoning for going into the food industry and all the customer service related jobs. I would love to hear your thoughts and reasonings behind, you know, you attaining a customer service job if you've ever had one, or maybe are you the kind that have always been um, behind the desk and doing an office based job? 
let me know in the comment section down below. Alright, so we're gonna get more of the skill. We're gonna destroy that tomato bottle. Alright, so hopefully we can get rid of as many chestnuts as possible. Oh no, should have left um, the megaphone behind. Oh well. Oh dang, there was another megaphone produced, but it's just that it was being buried at the top of <laughs> my icons. We could have ended with one move remaining. Oh, oh well, can't be lucky with everything. But still, we, we cleared the level. That's always the key importance in this game. Alright. Starly up next. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so the icon productions are all on the right side. So let's just go with Starly. We definitely need to set free the eggs because we need egg counts as well. Um, I guess let's get Starly's icons going. Yeah, a Jigglypuff. We do need to clear all the ice cubes at the top area so we can get more space to produce um, icons. Alright, so yeah, we need room, we need icons to be able to turn into megaphones. Okay, that did not end up how I wanted it to be. Hmm. Okay, Starly. Cover more surface area. Pikachu's. There we go. So all the tomatoes are defrosted some. Now it's time to just... Clear away the tomatoes. There we go. Okay, so we do need to push the tomatoes nearer. Oh, we should have. Oh. Okay. Tomatoes go in, go in. One more. Oh, dang it. So we could have cleared it. There we go. Yeah, could have ended with two moves remaining, but eh, things happen. Hopefully we can get to level 2 on the gifts. Alright, Squirtle is up next. I'm gonna make friendly giant to satisfy. Okay, Squirtle icons. There's a lot of Squirtle. So let's make do with our blue friend. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go with icons first because Go. Can use Squirtle's skill. Hitting the vegetable crates at the same time, destroying the pickle jars. Right, let's get more veggies. Okay, we're gonna go with icons here. Okay. Can we destroy. Pickle jar, so that we can get the milk cartons mixing. There we go, fantastic. So we need a lot of icons for the score. Icons for score. Oh, score is done. Okay. So the only problem is the veggies and the pickle jar. Hopefully, this does the trick. There we go. Nice and simple. So the main thing is to lock the shakers to fall directly down on the milk bottles. So that's the key. So don't don't just foolishly destroy all the pickle jars. Yeah. Make use of them. 
to take advantage of the scenario. Yeah. Alright. I still cannot pronounce this Pokemon's name properly. <laughs> oh well. It's the problem when you know the game designers make things a bit too internationally um huh. is one skill enough to destroy the yeah we don't have to power it up to destroy the chocolates okay let's just go ahead and destroy the chocolates just like this because we don't want the olives to end up coating the chocolates that'll be a big problem later on Go. Got a lot of whipped creams out now. Well, not exactly a lot, but more than enough to create annoyances. Because they're gonna get coated with olive oil. Okay, let's push everything to the corner so we can just destroy them. Alright, we have one whipped cream remaining. Oh no, we do need score and that is mm, settled but the problem is we don't have enough moves okay i'm gonna just use the 900 here since the whipped cream was just one destruction away from clearing i mean it's not exactly a very hard level just gotta be careful with your setup and moves I think it should be fine, but you know, just for the sake of the video and making things a bit more shorter to watch. <laughs> Who likes to watch long videos? I, I mean, I, I do. I can watch YouTube videos that are like two hours long. You know, people just upload live streams and or just let it play, become like background noise while I'm doing something else, well, multitasking. Do you guys watch my videos like this? I'll be interested to know. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Oh... Okay, so we're gonna need to level up um, Minum's skill. So we can... Um, destroy things in a more effective manner. There we go. So let's... Go ahead and do this so we can create more icon space. There we go. Okay, we're gonna destroy this set first. So we just need to make the popcorn kernels drop to the same level. Okay, we do need a link of 40, so that's gonna be a problem. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I don't think that's enough. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Okay, we got the 40. Now we just need the megaphone. Whew. Okay. Luckily, we ended with all moves used. But that was kind of a tricky situation we almost got ourselves into. If I didn't pay attention to the requirements, I might have messed things up. <laughs> Alright, we got Slowpoke to level 2. Oh, friendship bonus. That's always nice during a um, raid event. Alright. Let's pick up our rewards first. Playing a part. 
in our little group of active members. Alright. But awesome. Hmm. Okay, let's go with the Blossom Icons. Okay, so if we can get, yeah, the milk set up first, I think that would be good. Go, there you go, it's set up. Okay. Combine this and pop all the leaves out. Okay, in you guys go. Fantastic. So now just need to call out megaphones. Oh, come on! Why are you not going in? It's just a single leaf. There we go. Oh my goodness. Could have ended on four moves remaining, but it's just unfortunate it got stuck there. So. Oh well. At least we got a friendship bonus. Look at that. Who's up next? It's Jigglypuff. Oh, Odino is pretty close to leveling up. Hmm. Two combos at 35. Okay. Alright, let's go with all the Jigglypuff icons. Alright, making sure to hit as many of the strawberry baskets as possible. We hit the pumpkins with the strawberries. Ooh, lots of jiggly puffs. Okay, so we want the pumpkins to gather together so we can just destroy all of them at one go. So let's do that. Okay, that's a lot of Pikachu's. Let's go with Pikas. That settles the strawberries. Now the only problem is to push all the pumpkins together. There you go. Fantastic. Okay. So we just need to gather another 35 icon batch and destroy the last pumpkin and we're good! Fantastic! That wasn't too bad. I mean we could have ended maybe one or two moves earlier but still it wasn't too difficult. Alright! It's the 10th level, it's time to open the gift and handle the 2 star last stage for this video. Sadly we didn't get a friendship bonus, we could have gotten 6 stars. But uh, you know, friendship bonuses really uh, depends on RNG. Oh boy. Okay, so this is a bit tricky. We're gonna have to pay very close attention to all the items that are coated. And of course the marshmallows as well. It's gonna be a pain. Okay. Alright, so there's a lot of Pikachus. Let's go ahead and collect the Pikas. Okay, most of the marshmallows are handled. So let's just take this, change the icons in the circle, 
the megaphones. Fantastic. Alright, so... Let's see, let's do the... Marshmallow destruction. Oh, I missed on it. That's just horrible. Okay, let's not forget the eggs. Okay, eggs are set up. So I only have the marshmallow remaining, so let's just do things cautiously. <laughs> okay. Whew. Not too bad of a difficulty for a two star level. So guys, that's it for another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. Hopefully you guys are still having fun with the game. I definitely enjoy this game for its uh, casual play. And yeah, it's, it's nice to see that some of you guys who are still playing the game are still into it uh, together with me. And this knowing is glad. I'm glad to know that this game is not dead. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the up updates in the future to see how the game developers are taking this game into a new direction, making things more interesting. Well, you know, making things a bit more interactive with other players. So for now, we're gonna end it here and I'll see you guys in the next video sometime soon. Well, maybe in the next event. Until then, bye!